Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to the 2017 Atlantic Hurricane Season Animation by Force 13. And uh, yeah, I did another poll and you all voted in 2017, came out on top. And um, this is what we're going to be uh, reacting to next. And of course, all credits go to Force 13 for this video. Make sure you go and subscribe to them. Uh, for, uh, to them sorry, uh, Their link will be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. After several inactive years of tropical impacts in the Atlantic Basin, Hurricane Matthew in October 2016 reminded the Atlantic Basin, particularly the North American continent, that these storms were still lurking around and could strike at any time. That got so close to Florida. With the first part of the year being tremendously quiet around the world, how would 2017 fare in the Atlantic then? Would it continue to be fairly active as it had been in the last year or so, or would it slip back into the quieter pattern that was seen in 2013 and 14? Alright, here we go. Now, of course, the um, the, 20, the 2017 names are actually getting used um, this year, Atlantic season, so it's going to be interesting to see which ones were powerful, which ones were retired, and uh, yeah. So we're in April. This is a very early season storm, man. So we have Arlene. Welcome to oh another my. episode of Mother Nature That's redefining the laws of think, atmospheric science with start. tropical storm Arlene, which has formed in the Atlantic on this April twentieth. Oh yeah, it was. That thing just did a loop around itself. Just did a loop around itself. 17, North Atlantic, 15 named storms on the forecast, 8 hurricanes, 4 majors. My projection is for the Atlantic. I'm thinking 12 to 16 named, 3 to 6 hurricanes, 1 to 3 majors. This is the chances of tropical storm conditions. Oh, actually, let's have a look at this here. Sorry. This is the chance of the tropical storm conditions that there were. So, so there's high chances for uh, the Florida Panhandle, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, not as much. The Bahamas, quite high. Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, uh, the Windward Islands, Jamaica. Places like that had a lot of chance of getting tropical storm impacts. Uh, which is quite interesting. As you can see, uh, it looks like this year we're really looking at... Um, again, Haiti, uh, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, the Bahamas. Uh, so we have Brett. Oh, Salam for on Trinidad and Tobago, I think it was. So we have Cindy. Oh, I'm falling on. Anywhere near land? Okay, Dom. That died off really quickly as well, okay. So I'm also heading for the wind with Ivy. So we have Emily. Oh, I'm falling near Tampa. And now it's gone. So I did 10 million in damages. Franklin. I've been in shock near enough all day, which is watching this thing blow up very, very rapidly and drop pretty much 20 millibars in six hours. Yeah, this is honestly a very scary situation. 
um, especially for anybody that had decided to stay on the coastline. Hurricane Harvey was the eighth named storm of the 2017 hurricane season and was the first storm to make a major hurricane landfall in the United States since 2005, ending the longest such gap in United States history. Harvey is also tied for the fourth strongest hurricane landfall along the coast of Texas. Oh damn, the fourth strongest? Jeez. This is the most starkest warning or statement I've ever heard coming out of the NHC, and this is what they say. Potentially catastrophic Category 5 Hurricane Irma heading toward the Leeward Islands. Catastrophic! Island. Preparation should be nearing completion in the easternmost Leeward Islands. And if you haven't done that, well, you're running out of time and you need to do it now. Before it even made landfall, it was labelled as catastrophic. Oh my god. That is a lot of landfalls. Wow. Hurricane Irma was the ninth named storm of the 2017 hurricane season and was the strongest Whoa, storm to strike any of the Leeward Islands since at least 1780 like and the most damage. intense storm recorded on the Lesser Antilles, marginally eclipsing a hurricane in 1825. Oh no. What the? Whoa. Oh, Cassio, Jose. Oh my, another Category 5 lamp. Another one! On Cuba! That is just too much damage! Sixty billion? Leave Maria! This is a rapidly intensifying hurricane which could approach Category 5 intensity as it passes through the Lesser Antilles oh, and then on to Puerto Rico and the Hispaniola. Oh my! Puerto Rico as well? Bro, this season there were so many powerful storms. What, two Category 5s? I didn't even see Lee 2. Category 3? Wow, that is a lot of fatalities. 141. Another, another 40 billion in damages. Gulf of Mexico. How's it moving so fast? Ophelia? Well, I know Ophelia because that thing became a category three in the eastern Atlantic. It went near Portugal and I think it went towards um, the Azores and Ireland, I think. Yeah, it did. And there it goes. Seven fatalities. 88 million. That was so short lived. So many strong storms. Rena. Looks like that's it. Thankfully. Hurricane Harvey joins only Katrina in causing over a hundred billion in damages. That is crazy. Look at that track. Wow. So with 18 storms, wow. it wasn't a quiet season. 
But not just that, the amount of devastation oh. and damage. Wow. Harvey, 140 miles per hour. And a pressure of what? 938 millibars. That's a low pressure. Changes that occurred in the Caribbean out towards the west. Oh, 180 miles per hour and 175 from Maria. So strong and they all hit land. That is scary to think that a 180 mile an hour storm is coming towards you if you lived on the Lesser Antilles. Um, probably, it looks like it hit the British Virgin Islands and the American Virgin Islands as well. I'm pretty sure it did. Atlantic were enormous and would still be remembered many years later, even after the busy seasons of 2020 and 21. Well, looks like that's it. Um, but yeah, what a crazy season. Um, make sure you leave your suggestions in the comments below. And I'll try and get to them. Trust me, I'm getting a lot of suggestions at the minute. I'm trying my best. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I'll try to do some more. Maybe if you guys want maybe daily reactions, if I can. Maybe if not, every uh, one every two days um, if I can. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.